CM Punk just got fired, and I'm not surprised. Let's get into it. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Hercules, and we are back at it again. As you guys know, I am a avid professional wrestling fan. Now, I'm not as avid as, uh, as I used to. I don't sit down and I watch it like how I used to. I used to sit down Monday night. Uh, even when it was uh, Tuesday nights, uh, even when it was uh, freaking, what was it, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, when they had that freaking uh, main event bullshit, I was an avid wrestler fan. But as I grown up and as I felt wrestling getting kind of tiring and not seeing the people that I look up to, not look up to, but just see the potential in some of these guys and their style and the character they were playing, not seeing them get pushed, I started to fade away. Then AEW came along and I became a avid wrestling fan again. But then down the line, I started to peel back again because I would start watching WWE and then I would watch AEW. And to be very honest, at times, one was good, one was bad. Both were good or both were bad. That was really how wrestling has been in a very long time. But I was hyped whenever CM Punk was brought back. I was hyped. But then just last week, he got fired. As you guys know, um, AEW had their all-in which was a big pay-per-view, the most paid attendance ever. Not fake numbers like how WWE does. 80, 81,000, I believe, was the right number of uh, paying customers. It's a phenomenal stuff. Uh, it's, breaking, it's making history and stuff like that. But there was a situation where CM Punk and Jack Perry had a... Uh, an altercation, if you will. Now, rumors are something happened, this and that. There's always two different uh, stories out there. What really is the truth? We really don't know. Supposedly, there's evidence out there. There's a video out there. But, I mean, I don't think we're ever going to see it, to be very honest with you. But, CM Punk got fired on his day off because guess what? He was suspended because of that altercation. Now, Tony Khan announced this on, I believe it was Saturday last week. Uh, no, this week. Was it this week? Yes, this week. And um, yeah, he announced that basically he fired CM Punk um, and he did it before uh, Collision went on live. So it was surprising that he did it. A lot of people thought, he might wait until Monday or Tuesday. Um, and he revealed that supposedly he talked to his lawyers. He talked to, I guess they got a disciplinary uh, team in AEW. Uh, who is in that, that team? We don't know. A lot of people are making memes out there saying that the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and Hangman out of page and Chris Jericho. That made the decision to fire. But basically the lawyers and the di disciplinary team decided that Tony Khan should fire CM Punk. And then CM, uh, Tony Khan made the decision to fire CM Punk. Now, he said this was the first time he feared for his safety, for his life, and the safety of others. So, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of rumors out there. Some rumors say that... Uh, Tony Khan could have potentially got hurt by CM Punk. That CM Punk went up to Tony Khan, threatening him, saying that he wasn't going to go out there and wrestle. We don't know. It's just hilarious that when you read the, the articles, when you read all the news, they're trying to point and make it like CM Punk is like Brock Lesnar. Like, they're putting it out there like this dude is like a menace. Like, he's this freaking MMA scary guy, Brock Lesnar type of guy. But at the end of the day, he's just a regular Joe. He's the guy that got beat in MMA. 
because he wasn't good. But yeah, man, I mean, it's just hilarious that CM Punk got fired on his day off, technically. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of CM Punk. I don't agree with his opinions on political stuff and all that stuff, but I can I can put that aside and I can still be a fan of his stuff. Will it suck that he's not in AEW anymore? Yes, but at the end of the day, hey, what can you do? We knew potentially he was only going to do three years. Most likely he was only going to do three years. I believe he did close to a year, maybe and a half. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, his contract was going to end, I believe, 2024 or 2025, somewhere around there. But yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised that they fire him. I think it's hilarious what they, the news reports say about the situation. But at the end of the day, we'll see if this is going to hurt AEW or if it's going to help AEW. But it's just hilarious, man. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe.